Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to go where we have never gone before. Welcome back to Transport Fever. I am going to space. Yes, indeed, the United States versus the Soviet Union in a space race. So hopefully we can get there before the Soviets. The U.S. landing on the moon in 1969. So we've got to land on the moon before 1969 in this mission objective. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the U.S. campaign. America, the land of plenty, etc., etc. Here is the space race. So business is brisk. Uh, High in the skies, the invention of the jet engine has revolutionized aviation. Civil avi aviation is experiencing an unprecedented boom, and travelers can now reach even more remote destinations by plane. The train has its had its has had its day, and the mode of pr uh, passenger transport is now changing to the jet. So the Iron Curtain separates east and west, and the great powers have divided the entire world among themselves. And now, all that remains is to conquer the skies and even space. Let's reach for the stars. So I've already completed this mission once before and uh, did a little practice in the live stream. So uh, again, we live stream here and at twitch.tv forward slash Rat Pack. So if you want to check out both uh, streaming here and over on Twitch, check it out. Make sure you follow, prize giveaways there. But without further ado, let's go to space. All aboard, here we go. We find ourselves in the Pacific Northwest, and the 50s are drawing to a close. Oh, Our yes. airline is not yet bankrupt, but it will be soon if we don't do something fast. The planes are hopelessly outdated, and their capacities are far too small. If we want to remain competitive, we'll most likely have to renew our entire fleet. If that doesn't help, we'll be left with little choice than to search for new business opportunities. The main thing is that it's something where those eco-fundamentalists don't keep getting in our way. They're spreading like rabbits. Ah, the hippies. All right, so welcome to the American Northwest. We're uh, basically in Seattle, Washington here with the city of Seattle there. And we're near our Canadian friends there, bud. Victoria and Vancouver up over here. So we've got airports connecting all three of these major cities. But we're not going to be doing much with the airlines any longer. We're going to be assisting Boeing very soon in building their rocket factory right here, the Saturn rockets that will eventually bring man to the moon, space and the moon. All right, let's go ahead and get started then. Let's see what we got to do. The Douglas DC-4 is pretty, but it's far too sluggish. Our friends at the Boeing Aircraft Company are hard at work on jet aircraft for passenger aviation, but they're still not quite there. However, there is an alternative. A completely new kind of aircraft entered the market recently. The Comet, the first ever jet airliner, reduces previous journey times by half. It is built by the British, but let's not nitpick. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got to phase out the uh, DC-4 fleet and purchase British aircraft. So let's go ahead and buy three of these Comets, one, two, and three. And of course, notoriously, they were very, very unreliable and dangerous aircraft as well. So we're going to put three of these on the line and uh, eventually these will start costing us money, so we'll have them return to the hangar and sell them at some point. But for now, let's go ahead and have the uh, three jets go out and fly, and let's have the three jets or the three propeller aircraft that are on the line. Uh, let's see, the Douglas DC-4. We're going to have them return and be sold, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So, in order to work ahead of the curve, I already know kind of some of the things that need to be done here. These large circles are areas that we need to completely avoid, so that way the eco or the hippies basically will not be upset at us. Apparently these are extremely important areas and we need to stay away from them. So we'll go ahead and respect that. But in order to build the uh, the new rocket producing facility, we'll need to bring steel together with the use of iron ore and coal. We'll need to bring stone together as well to make bricks. We'll eventually need to make rocket fuel as well. And luckily we have an oil uh, refinery, or rather an oil refinery over there, but an oil well over here and of course the coal mine over there. So let's go ahead and get started without a delay on doing what we need to do. First and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, the busiest area that we're going to encounter is going to be down here. The uh, large truck stop is going to be needed down here at the steel mill. It's going to be a very, very populated area with trucks coming in and out. Not only does it haul in uh, ore, iron ore and, and uh, coal, but it also hauls out steel and slag. And slag is going to be, it's basically impurities of making steel and that will have to be used over at the building site as well. All right, let's go ahead and continue to put down our cargo areas. As you can see, we can build trains, but I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go ahead and build a, a connection to our stone mine over here. And let's see if we can build this as cheaply as possible. Let's see how affordable we can make it. About 13,000 right there is about as good as we can get it. There we go, 13.4. All right, let's continue on. We want to build one over here. Oh, not there. Uh, let's build one over here at the, um, at the site itself. Yes, we'll have to build one there. 
And then we'll also need to build one over here at the, const or rather the construction material site. I was going to say construction site itself, but first we got to build the materials to bring over to the construction site. So let's go ahead and put that down. And if we haven't already, let's connect to the coal mine, which we'll need to do as well. We'll circle back and do the rocket fuel a little bit later. All right, let's continue to build here. Now, we also need to build a bridge. Unfortunately, the iron ore is on the other side of the river, or the archipelago, or whatever you want to call it. So we've got to get over here. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to build a road. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll build a small... No, let's not build a small street. Let's build a small country road. And with that, we'll span it across the river here, or the archipelago, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Big old bridge right there, but definitely necessary and important. So that way we can deliver the necessary materials. There we go. All right, and we will build that. Ooh, yeah, when you try to put down roads, they always seem to, like, captain hook it a little bit. If you go too fast, it'll try to curve to the left or right side for whatever reason. But we've connected everything up here nicely, so we should be able to connect everything we need. And we've got access to... Po Basically, it's the end of World War II, 10 years after, and the government is still selling some trucks from World War II that are surplus, so we can go ahead and buy those for cheap, and they're very durable and effective in getting things where they need to go. All right, let's go ahead and build it here, our road factory is. It's pretty much in the center of everything. It's pretty much in the center where all materials will be brought. So let's go ahead and start setting up our lines, and let's go ahead and uh, figure out what we need. First and foremost, we need uh, trucks for coal, so let's go ahead and build maybe six of those. And it looks like to me, this truck here, uh, what are we looking at? Ah, yes, the uh, Studebaker US6U10 can haul the coal that we need. Not only can it haul that, but it can also hire a hold, a hold the iron ore and the stone that we'll need and the slag. Wow, this is going to be a very useful truck. All right, let's buy six of these. Two, three, four, five, six. And let's go ahead and set up a line. And of course, to do that, all we got to do is select road. And of course, all we got to do is select the two destinations we want it to go to. One from the coal mine all the way up to the steel mill. Perfect. That's simple, isn't it? All right, that one's done. Let's go ahead and set those trucks up. Nice thing we can do here is just set the line. In this case, line two, and they're done. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, road depot again, and let's go ahead and buy some more trucks that we need. And this time, let's buy, uh, let's see, it's about the it's about half the distance to get to the stone quarry, so let's buy maybe about four trucks for this one. So let's go ahead and buy four more of those Studebakers, one, two, three, four. We'll set up yet another line, and it's very important that you kind of continue to build your lines at the start, because if you're, if you're unpaused while you're doing this, time is going to just drift away. All right, next line. Let's go easy peasy on this one from the... Uh, Yep, from the area up here all the way down to the construction site. So the, from the, uh, oh, actually the stone, oh yeah, it's a little, it's actually a little uh, closer than I thought. So let's buy a couple more trucks. Let's see, we'll buy two more. Looks like they're about the same distance, so that's fine. All right, so the stone is ready to go. On to line three. Very good. All right, next thing is the iron ore, and the iron ore doesn't have to go as far. If you remember, we just built the bridge across here. And the iron ore is being hauled out of the mine here. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's go ahead and put down the... Uh, let's build six trucks for this one, too. I think six is a good number, and we can always add to it as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. But since we need to beat the Soviets, every single truck needs to arrive on time. And we don't want materials sitting at their uh, facilities for too long. We've got to beat those Ruskies. All right, so that's going to be delivering iron ore to this facility. And we should have uh, vehicles already delivering... Ah, yes, very good. Coal being delivered there as well. So now we need vehicles to bring away the slag and the steel. Well, the only thing we can use at the moment is the, uh, the, the slag. So that has to go to the construction materials facility down the lower right corner. So let's get that line set up as well. And we'll buy some more trucks for that too. First and foremost, let's build a line. And we want our, our line to bring steel from the steel mill, or rather slag in this case, to the construction site down here. And then we'll also need some vehicles to bring the construction materials to the main site. So let's go ahead and get those going too. Wow, good music here, man. Really, just one of the outstanding points of the game. All right, let's go ahead and buy, let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Should we, I think we should just keep doing six. It seems to be good. It's a good number to start with. These roads are going to be very busy, but since we've got roads already pre-built to all these facilities, it'll be much more economical for us at the start. Okay, last line then. All we got to do is build one from the construction materials site to the actual rocket facility here at Boeing. So let's go ahead and build there at Seattle Halt. Okay, now all we need to do is buy a couple of more trucks. And with this one, we need to make sure that we are choosing this truck here, the US-6U3. That's the only one that can haul the construction materials. One, two, three, four, 
Let's go ahead and go five, six. Let's build six as well. And then, of course, we can always add. I feel like we're going to want more trucks eventually than less. So we've already spent uh, only about $9 million left in our uh, wallet at the moment. <coughs> so let's go ahead and continue with that. We'll need to make some money eventually from this. And uh, it's 1955, so let's take a look at some of the trains we have access to. Oh, unfortunately, you can't take a look at the menu until you put down a, uh, a depot. So we'll do that in just a moment. So let's see, what do we got going on here? So air, airports, uh, no matter what, you can't really connect to the airports. Even if you build bus lines and stuff going to the airports, you can't really make money from the airlines from what I've seen so far. You have to make most of your money off of just delivering supplies. Though, of course, it helps to have buses running in town. So let's go ahead and at least try at Seattle. So let's go ahead and set, uh, set up some stops here. We'll put another uh, road depot somewhere in town. And this will help to pay for our maintenance costs and such on vehicles, so that way they can continue to make money. And that's one of our goals. If you remember, our medals here are to uh, be faster than the Soviets and finish before 1970, have more than $100 million in the bank, ensure a successful conference, which we'll get to shortly, avoid the highlighted nature areas, which not a problem there, and 30 parabolic flights with the Vomit Comet, which we're about to get access to very soon. So let's go ahead and set up some bus stops here, and uh, let's go ahead and set up up Set them up, uh, I don't know, somewhere around here. We could probably build one at the airport as well. Let's, uh, maybe we'll do that right here. And we'll, we'll put that down as the last stop. Okay, so stop number one. We'll work counterclockwise here. One. Uh, let's go two. Uh, let's go three. And four. Let's go five here. Six. And seven up at the airport. Okay, looks good to me. Uh, maybe we should do one more. Nah, we're, we're okay. We'll, we'll have plenty. Okay, let's set up a bus line then. And remember, this will be line... Ooh, very nice. The red line. Line seven. So one, two... How many did we have seven as well? One, two, three, four, five. Here's four, five over here. Six and... Seven. So I really like City Skylines. It's everything that I liked about Cities in Motion or Railroad Tycoon or any Tycoon game, just uh, with a little added, uh, little little added fun to it. I really like these campaigns of making a difference in history. All right, let's go ahead and go with the Twin Coach 44S. So let's buy well, let's buy three of these, two, three, and we'll put these on line seven. Very good. Okay, that should be enough to get us some extra cash and bring people from the airport, but I doubt we're going to actually get any passengers there. So let's go ahead and start with this, and let's go ahead and put her on turbo. All right, good. So we're phasing out... Remember, we're going to phase out those DC-4s right there. Unfortunately, we're going to say goodbye to that as it probably is circling back to the airfield and say hello to the new uh, comets as they pull out of the uh, hangar here shortly. Unless they're... Uh, well, they'll be doing so in a minute or two. In the meantime, everything looks to... Oh, look at that. The whole convoy. Look at that. Convoy of trucks just arriving. Beautiful. Hey, the, look at... They're military trucks. Nice. Very good. Very effective. All right. Very, very, very good. Okay. So what do we got going on here? Planes are circling back. Very nice. People in town are starting to get woken up by the bus system. They're starting to uh, figure out there's alternative methods of travel. And there's plenty of coal being put down at the Seattle transfer down here. So our vehicles will eventually work their ways out and uh, there won't be as much of a conga line outside of the uh, airport or rather the uh, steel mill. Oh, we just made 41 million. How do we do that? All right, let's see. Oh, our planes are selling themselves. That's why. All right, good. We're almost done there. Comet purchased zero out of three. Didn't we? I thought we bought three of these planes. Did we not? Phase out DC-4. I thought I bought three of these. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't finalize it. Let's make sure. Let's take a look at the airlines. Oh, I guess I didn't hit the buy button. Oh, look at that. Th two, four, and five. All right. Well, we bought the planes as we were told. We'll see how much of a difference they make eventually. So I've noticed over here we've got a plastics facility. They can work off of either uh, oil or grain to make plastics. And we do have plenty of oil over here. So let's go ahead and start making uh, some money off of that. So let's get our, uh, our little line set up for this one. So let's see. Hmm. If we build a little rail line here, and I want to do so with only no catenary. I want to do so with, uh, with a diesel line. Well, actually, this would be best. Let's have it shoot off into the uh, 
into the territory here. See if I can build it with the least amount of elevation. That looks like no matter what, we're going to hit some elevation here. Hmm. Wow, that's really a dip, isn't that? Isn't that a crazy dip off of that area? Okay. Well, that's good enough. Okay, let's set up our tracks. And I think our regular tracks can go up to, what, almost 100, I believe. No catenary. All right. So we're going to build our line all the way up to that refinery, which is all the way up here, if you remember, just next to the uh, next to the iron ore mine, just across the uh, river. So the best thing to do for building rail lines is to build them little by little, and of course this will bring all of the fuel we need for our rockets to eventually beat those Soviets. All right, let's try to keep it at 75. Actually, I don't I don't actually remember how fast some of our rail lines can go. Maybe it's 100. Maybe we well we'll build the line first, then we can also we can always upgrade it. So that's fine. We'll lay it out first, and then we'll upgrade. Not a problem. All right. So we're just gonna continue to build our railroad here we're gonna try to cross right behind that uh, right behind that constructions material area and we're getting a little closer to the road little by little there we go okay time to cross the river beautiful nice very good looking bridge there Okay, time to get a little bit closer to our destination. Cut through the forest here. Try to keep it at 75 at least. Straight as possible is better. Construction not possible. There we go. Alright, we're getting closer. Try to build this route with as minimal uh, terrain changes as possible. Eventually, we can also bring that fuel over to the plastics facility, which we, we know we're going to need for components for some of the NASA Saturn pieces. So let's go ahead and continue to build over this direction. And we can actually build a railroad coming off of that eventually. Like a little junction, not a problem. We got this. There we go. Yeah, Alright. So I think we'll have one train running at the start. All right, we're almost to our destination. I'm loving it. I'm feeling the victory. I'm feeling the liberty and the freedom. There we go. Just a little bit of a curve around the edge here. Actually, before we get any closer, let's go ahead and set up our end station now. We won't need the uh, elevation markers anymore. All right, let's rotate our station. Let's see how close we can get. Okay, there we go. And perfect. Okay. Not a bad line if I say so myself, especially with the hilly terrain of, well, Washington in general. Okay, let's connect up. We're good to go here. All right. Right there, is that it? Right there. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, our train line's also set up. What kind of a train can we get, Bob? Well, Raptor, we can get... Oh, look at this. We got ourselves a big boy. Quite literally, the 4884 big boy. Hmm. Green River and Ogden. Oh, that was... Oh, wow. Oh, we got ourselves our first diesel. Very good. The Alco PA with, with a max speed of 117 miles an hour. Jeez. How fast can our uh, rail cars go, though? Okay, looks like the max speed of our tank rail cars is 99 miles an hour. So if we can find a vehicle that's closer to that, that might be a little bit more men. Oh, right here, the Class PRR GG1. Okay, GG indeed. Let's go ahead and buy one of those for, uh, oh God, 8 million? Jeez, that's really expensive. Holy sh... All right, here's the Elko HH. We want something a little closer to that 99 million. What is this? Is this steam? High-speed Atlantic-type locomotive... Hmm. I don't. I, I don't know what kind of type that is. I definitely want to go with the diesel, but uh, we might need a little bit more cash here shortly. So let's go ahead and save up for a little bit. And let's uh, now that we know the uh, planes are going to be useless, uh, we'll go ahead and wait till we get a little bit more money from them coming in. Apparently, it costs us only eight hundred and thirty-three dollars to work those planes, but we're going to sell them off eventually as they'll bring in. Next to no currency for us. The British just cannot be trusted. The comet Britain. has broken its promises. In fact, it's broken in general and is falling from the sky in pieces after just a short time. Oh no. We were able to make makeshift repairs to the things, but now 
word of the accidents has spread. Not exactly the best advertisement for us. We should look for alternatives. It'd be good to acquire an interest in the Boeing Aircraft Company, so we're soon in possession of better planes. There are some interesting developments underway at Boeing. A new production facility is to be built. What will be produced there, however, is still a secret. If we offer our services in construction, perhaps we'll find out more. Okay, so we've already got our line set up to build that uh, production facility. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves an aircraft, or our, uh, well, our aircraft will help us to buy a new train that we just sold off. So let's go ahead and buy that electric one. I want to buy that electric train. Here we are, the PRRG GG1. The money is slipping through our fingers. And we won't People be in trouble for taking out a loan. Perfect. But if we're prepared to grovel on our hands and knees, our financiers will grant us a bridge loan. Okay, so we got ourselves a bridge loan. We there's no special objectives for getting that. Uh, for using that no no issues that will arise for doing that so that's fine all right let's buy some more trains more train cars specifically all right Ooh, look at this what is this a passenger train the alco papb increase horsepower rating wow look at that this has a oh my god it has a horsepower of 4568 that's where the alco has 2000 wow okay so much better, much better. Oh wow, Pioneer Zephyr. Look at all this stuff we can buy. That is amazing. Okay, well we've got enough uh, train cars here, I think. So we'll go ahead and set up a new line for our train so we can make some money for selling some oil. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll send our oil to the new production facility up here, which is turning oil into both fuel and refined oil. Crude oil is what we're hauling first. So let's get on that line. Uh, oh, right, of course. <laughs> Electric, I gotta upgrade all the tracks first. Okay, not a problem. All right, let's upgrade the whole track. Can we do that? Is that is that the whole thing updated? Or how do we do this? Now oh, let's get rid of the line marker here. Ah, uh, we gotta update the whole track. Darn. Not too big of a problem. And we don't need the high speed track because we won't be going over a hundred. <clears throat> okay, I hope, hope we've got this one good to go. And all the way back to our starting position. All right. Oh, depot contains vehicles. Yes, it does. Why can't I build a catenary coming out of it? Let's put the... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's take the train off the line. Depot contains vehicles. Yes, it does. I want to be able to get that vehicle to the line. Game. Oh, you're being silly. All right, well, this is going to cost us a little bit for the derpiness. Really? All right, hold on just a second. All right, let's make sure we build the track now with the uh, catenary. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Now, yeah, of course. So, interestingly enough, I think we have to sell this train in order to actually for whatever strange reason, buy a little bit of rail right there. So, for whatever reason, we had to sell off the train to do that, but it cost us no extra money to do that since we haven't used the train at all. So we'll still go with the same old train with the same old number of cars. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Let's sit around the line, and this should be good to go. Beautiful. All right. Good to go. Okay. Come on out, you beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous beast. Yeah, check that out. Oh, wow. That thing's hauling, too. Oh, it's a diesel electric? Looks like it's a combo. Unless somebody uh, burnt their lunch. Nice. All right, good hybrid there. It's beautiful. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start uh, picking up crude oil and start dropping it off down there. So, I will see you guys in the next episode as we finish the construction of the Boeing plant and go on to some other stuff. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for hitting that like button and showing your support. And password, Pimpan Strong. I'll see you all soon. Bye.